everyone welcome back to my channel if you guys are new here my name is Nisha if you're a returning subby thank you so much for clicking on today's video in today's video we're going to be doing a get ready with me as I do my makeup and talk to you guys a little bit about my ins and outs and the things that I want in my personal life and in my content creation career um, I'm so excited for this year the things that we have planned and I just kind of wanted to have a sit down to kind of just kick off the year pretty much right okay because y'all my home girls y'all my friends so come on with me i'm gonna zoom y'all in um i have a little bit of a like a fever blister here so if y'all see it don't judge me it happened yesterday but i'm gonna try to cover it on up um yeah so i hope that you guys have already had a good new year i hope that you guys did a vision board or wrote down some of you guys' goals we're gonna talk about that in today's video and then we're just gonna talk about some of the ins and outs that i want for myself and you know want to take with me throughout this year talk about the first in so the first in is a positive mindset um i want to make sure that you know for me i have been guilty of overthinking and self-sabotage or talking myself out of things like so, i was saying um a positive mindset we know that life and death is in the power of our own tongue and for me i feel like over the course of my youtube journey you guys know that i started this channel in 2017 when um tasai was tasai <laughs> before we had tasai when tamir was one and you know i feel like i've kind of psyched myself out in my growth and i just realized that you know what this is what i want this is my desires and and as long as i have a positive mindset speak those things as though they were that god will move and make my channel where i need it to be as long as i stay consistent and believe and have the faith so the first thing in girl is positive mindsets we got to keep that mind right because um the mind powers everything else that we do so i want to make sure that i'm putting this in is daily devotions i feel like when you put god first throughout the day it just makes the rest of the day flow easily now that the kids are back in school i feel like now we're getting into a <clears throat> a routine so it's like we need to make sure that we're doing our daily devotions i have the glorify app which i love it's not um it's not anything that's tedious so basically hold on let's see let's zoom in because i'm doing my eyebrows i mean my eyes so with the glorify app it starts like any regular app it gives you a quote of the day and then it gives you the scripture of the day the passage is like two minutes um and then it has the option to if you want it to read for you it will um and then it does um, a prayer a walk with jesus i think it's like a six minute so all together it's like a 10 minute devotion um part of that in for me is i want to try not try i'm going to start waking up earlier than the kids i was telling tayari that he leaves the house at like 5 30 and i'm like once he leaves i need to get up at at least six because i feel like that will give me the time i need alone to do my devotion without distractions of the kids to make sure that i'm dressed and ready so when i wake the kids up it's not like we're rushing or you know we're like it makes me anxious and i think that's part of one of my anxieties is trying to hurry up and rush and rush and rush and get them out of the house and i feel like if i just take a little moment wake up a little bit earlier um then that can help the flow of the day the hard thing for me though is once the kids go to sleep i feel like i need to recuperate so i'll stay up a couple of hours after their sleep so you know mom life we're gonna figure it out but i definitely feel like an end for me has to be my daily devotion and with that waking up early another end is therapy now you know i have talked to you guys before about my mental struggles um and i must say that i didn't even finish vlogmas because of i'm using the chocolate by juvia's palette i love this palette um i didn't even finish vlogmas because of my mental stuff and then just feeling like defeated with everything going on with my new camera with um my new editing software that i'm using so i just kind of yeah so anyways therapy um i did have a therapist assigned to me but literally after i filmed this i'm going to switch therapists and start because i feel like you know this is a form of self-care and you know i don't want to burden tayari 
or you know be a bad not a bad but you know not be the best parent that I can be to the kids because of my own mental things so I definitely need to get back in therapy so that's definitely and I always feel like you know if you're ever feeling overwhelmed or feeling like you need an extra person to talk to most insurance cover it therapy okay another end is going for what I want um like I was talking about kind of with the positive mindset I want my YouTube channel to be my full-time income I love sharing I love recording I love editing I love having that freedom of speech and content creating and my goal for this year is to get paid to be home with my children to share with you guys to build that community that's saving so I want to go for what I want and not even if you know those around me don't understand I know what God has put into me and I just feel like it's a constant thing like I constantly hear like no matter when I try to do this or try to do that my mind just goes back to content 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 um another part of self-care is you know really taking time for myself for self-care and that kind of goes with therapy that goes with the daily devotion that goes with like this right here part of self-care you know putting myself together because when you look good girl you feel good saving now let's talk about this I feel like, hold on, piece of hair. Tayari and I could do a lot better with our savings. Um, I know, like, you know, we're able to do some of the things that we desire with the kids, whether that be taking them to theme parks or going different places. But I want to take a trip. Like, I, we have yet to travel far. I mean, we did go to Vegas, which is about three and a half, four hours from us but I want to take like a trip like via air and I don't know if you guys follow Daily Davison's but there is Tiffany and TJ and they're a couple and they've been on YouTube since 2006 I want to say however th that's not the point the point of the matter is is that they do like uh family trips where they take their kids to like Disneyland Hawaii stuff like that as a family and they're a family of six now they have four kids and you know husband and wife I want to take my kids on a trip this year whether that be pray, play, paid for through a brand or just Tayari and I I want to be able to save and take my kids I've always wanted to fly all together we did go on a couple of trips with just when we just had Tamir and then Tasai and I went to go see my sister in South North Carolina but I want to take all three of the kids now I know that may be a lot but I feel like I see other families do it other races do it and I feel like there's no reason why Tayari and I can't do it too. Where are we going to go? I don't know. But when we do, I'm going to definitely take you guys with us. And then the last thing is consistency. And I think, um, well, I know that I can be consistent. Um, proof of that is my TikTok page that I grew, um, you know, from being consistent, making sure that I film, you know, making sure that I batch um oh I need some more oh god I need some more primer I need I just need to go to I was just telling my mom I need to go to Ulta okay but um yeah like making sure that I batch film you know on those days with when the kids are at school and or Tayari is able to watch the kids consistency you know what I mean and not you let any excuses or anything you know hold me back all right, so yeah, like I was saying, that's the last end. So I'll, like I kind of already went over, self-doubt. Listen, I know that God's able, I know what he has called me to do. So none of that, that self, self-doubt, and then the next one's imposter syndrome. I know the power that I have. I know, you know, who God has created me to be. I know the woman that I am, the woman that I can be. And I know that I've been through a lot um some traumatic stuff um you know motherhood has changed my changed my perspective a lot being a wife has changed things but listen we need to get that's an out okay another out is FOMO the fear of missing out you know what I mean I think sometimes I reflect on my life and listen this is like a a summer shade this is a winter shade but the face is given multiple shades okay um <laughs> anyways so yeah the fear of missing out I think sometimes I compare I know I'm guilty of comparing myself to women on social media and feel like dang like 
I could be at this brand trip or I could be ooh on this trip or you know so forth and so forth but I don't I know that what God has for me and my family is for me so I don't want to have that fear you know like I just want to do the work you know and I feel like once I do the work everything else will pay off because it's for me you know I was talking to a friend about you know our living situation and you know we got three three kids why did I why did I do that oh lord anyways we have three kids and dang is that my shade y'all oh lord anyways we have three kids and I one of my things on my vision board which I can share with you guys is um a new place um we've been living here now for mm, for five years and we've added two kids to our thing and Terry has talked about a baby another baby and I'm just like babe we don't have the space for another kid um but yeah like one of those things is I want to have a bigger space a bigger house and I know that with the ends of consistency of saving of constant consistency and all of that and posting that I will be where God wants me to be and I don't have to worry about the fear of missing out because like we were saying what's for us is for us and if if it's God's will it's gonna be done you know and sometimes that's what makes anxiety is we put ourselves ahead of God and we think of you know what we think we want and sometimes what we want is not what God wants for us or God will let us have it and then we'll realize ooh it ain't what I thought it was so yeah another is gossip now not that I talk a lot of mess or anything but just you know just talking about things that doesn't talking about things that aren't going to what, how do I say it elevate me you know whether that be family whether that be entertainment just you know just that spirit of gossip in the running your mouth listen i mean i know we're all human and we're going to talk about things but sometimes certain things just don't need to be talked about so i just want god to just hush my mouth when it comes to certain things you know like i'm an opinionated person i'm a libra i don't know if that got anything to do with it but in Tayari's voice i'm a talker i like talking i.e. this <laughs> but like um i.e. this but i want to talk about things that are gonna that's gonna elevate us in our my content creation in my marriage in my parenthood and if it doesn't serve me i don't want to talk about it okay like i just if people are gonna be calling my friend in my line with negativity i don't want to hear it because i have goals in mind i have things that i want to do like, eventually, I want Teori to not have to go to work. I want him to be able to work from home with me and growing my content creation, growing my business, and, you know, live the life that him and I have talked about. This year is going to be our 13th year of marriage. And, you know, we have goals and we have things, and I feel like God has called me. And it's like, you can't just sit on your calling, okay? You can't just sit on your calling. And it's like... It's been a long time coming and I, I'm tired of sitting by and letting my talents go to waste. And, you know, just, you know, when God has called me, period. Next thing is yelling. Now, I grew up in a yelling house and I do try to, you know, like with the kids for specifically. Um, I try the calling calmly multiple times but then I just get upset and I'm just like y'all not listening like you know I'm raising my voice and in that I raise my blood pressure and girl anybody got time for that I need to keep my blood pressure under control I am only 33 I do not want to be taking medicines and be in the hospital and all that so yelling so I need to continue to pray oh I don't know if I should have did that y'all Anyways, uh, I just need to ask God to keep me calm. You know what I mean? 
And then the last thing this out is toxic conversations. And I kind of touched on that. And that's, you know, when somebody calls you and they're not talking about nothing or what they are talking about, you could feel a transfer. I feel like um, vibes or spirits are real. And if, say for instance, I'm down and I call you and I'm like, oh, I'm so stressed, I'm so worried. It is transferred to you and then you start feeling some kind of way because you're empathetic. And that's me, I'd be really like empathetic to people. And I feel like that's, it's not, it's not prop, it's not, what's the word? It's not helping me reach where I need to reach. So that's out, okay? I don't mind people venting, but I think there's a difference between venting and you constantly calling me with the same stuff. You know what I mean? So anyways, that's my ins and outs for 2024. Um, let me know if you guys have any, if you guys have thought of any or think that I should add some to my list. Um, this is the look. My lip kind of hurts. Love that for us. But I love this brown lip. All right, last but not least, we're not gonna do the eye, uh, eyelashes like I was originally gonna do. We're gonna just do some mascara. Cause your girl, I got pretty good eyelashes. Okay, all I need, they just really curly, which I love my eyelashes to be honest. Let's see. And then sorry, if I'm looking down, it's cause my mirror's right here. I don't know if I said that already. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy my ins and outs. Let me know what is something that you are hoping to see from me in 2024. Uh, we are growing this YouTube channel. Tell a friend to tell a friend. If you love motherhood and lifestyle content, a relatable yo mommy friend next door, check me out or whatever. All right, so that is the face. I think I'm gonna leave the hair the way it is. I just need to add some earrings and my necklace. And I hope that you guys, ah, wait, that you guys enjoyed this. I need to take that off. Enjoy this ins and out video with me. Again, happy 2024. I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.